Okay, here's some more. And sometimes we run into uh, problems where we just have a vertical or a horizontal shift, but not both. So I thought I'd give you some examples like that. So if we look at this first one, y or number five, this is our example number five. Um, y equals three times the absolute value of x plus one. So there's n x, you could say x minus zero. So the, the horizontal shift is zero. It doesn't shift either way. So we actually just call the horizontal shift zero. And you could write x minus zero in here if you wanted, and that's what this horizontal shift would be, zero. And the vertical shift is the same sign, so that's going to be one. So there's my vertical shift. Now, the reason why I put the zero in there rather than leaving it blank, because it actually gives me the point for my new zero. So my new zero will be the point zero one. And that's a vertical shift of up one, but no horizontal shift. Now, my shape equation... is just going to be y equals 3 times the absolute value of x. So I just take out the shift. That's the only shift. And I can make a table of values. And we want to see these points. And good old negative 1, 0, 1 again. And the absolute value of negative 1 is 1, times 3 is 3, 0. Absolute value of 1 is 1, times 3 is 3, and there you go. So this would be 1 to the left, up 3, 1 to the right, up 3, and you can see your slope, oops, excuse me, up 3, 1 to the left, up 1, 2, 3, 1 to the right, up 1, 2, 3, pardon me, let's scratch these out here. So when I connect these, I'll make it my, for my faux pas there. And that's what we've got. I don't have my white out, otherwise I would just white those out. I can cross them out with a pencil there. And there you go. So there's your graph. And these are the key points we want to see. Make sure we see these points here and here. One, two, three, to really define the shape. All right? And over here, the sixth example. If we look at this, I have a vertical, a horizontal shift, opposite sign. So my horizontal shift will be negative three, opposite sign. And my vertical shift, there is nothing here. You, you could think of this as plus zero if you want to. If you, could just, you could put a plus zero there. That means it's just their vertical shift is zero. So I'm going to put it in because that's going to give me the coordinates of my new zero. So that's my vertical shift. And I put that point in, negative three, zero, negative three, zero, and there's your new zero. And then I need the shape equation. So the shape equation is going to be y equals negative 2 times the absolute value of x, just to get rid of the shift, and there's the shape equation. x, y, and what do you think we're going to use for x? Yep, negative 1, 0, 1, and negative 2. So if I put negative 1 in here, the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1, so that's going to be times 2 is negative 2, 0, and again, this is going to be the same, negative 2. So from here, I go 1 to the left, down 2. And here I go 1 to the right, and down 2. And these are lines, so I know I have a slope of negative 2, so I can put some more points in there just to make it easier when I draw my A. This would be like, like an A, and here we go. Now, uh, there are some more examples of these that they get a, a lot more complicated, and we'll do those on the next videos. But, all right. And they're using more of what we talked about, more things going on.
like here and here. So we'll talk about those a little bit later, in the next, actually the next video. So, But right now these are the basic ones and that's what you want to make sure you get down first. Okay, hope these help.